Hello there, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with a really short After Effects quick tip that some of you may find useful. Now I'm sure that most of you will be familiar with the pick whip control. Um, basically it's this little spirally guy down here that lets you uh, grab a value and attach it to something else. You know, one of the most obvious uses for it is to uh, parent one layer to another so that uh, when you make changes to one it affects the other. But something you may never have done before, and I must admit I hadn't until recently, is uh, use the pick whip um, when the value you want to assign it to is actually in another composition. So let me give you an example. Um, basically what I've set up here is um, a composition that I've called Color Control, and I've created um, just a little shape layer in here. Um, the reason I've used a shape layer rather than a solid um, is because you can actually keyframe the, uh, the color values of a shape, as you can see here. Now uh, that's important because if you were to use a solid, you can't keyframe it, which means you can't pick whip it. So uh, basically I've got these three um, associated compositions, they're all pretty simple, but I want to uh, assign the color in elements of each of these uh, compositions to the color control value here. But obviously I can't do that with the standard controls because while I may be able to access the, uh, the pick whip, I can't actually drag it onto the uh, the other compositions. I'm kind of locked with the, uh, the values that I have within this composition itself. And actually the uh, the solution is really, really simple. You grab the tab for the uh, the composition you want to assign the pick whip to, and you just grab it and drag it to the side, which lets you view multiple compositions at the same time. Now I can create an expression on color and drag the pick whip to the color value of my color control comp and the color of the object within it. And I can do that with all of these values. So if I find the uh, tritone effect that I've got here, I can actually uh, hold down Alt, click the stopwatch and drag the pick whip for the midtone over to the, uh, the color value. Just click away to finish it off. And as you can see, that's out of the color wash to the uh, to the effect, and finally the stroke composition value. Again, hold down Alt, hit the stopwatch, grab the pick whip, and move it over to the color control object. Now when I uh, change the color value of the color control to a luminous pink, all of the objects I've assigned the color value to are now changed. Um, so there you go, that's how you assign uh, a pick whip to a value that's living outside of the composition you're currently in. Hope you found it useful and uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching.